Hello everybody, Speedrun here once again and today I'm teaching you how to add missing items to your server. For example, you have tested item by item using add item and the item ID. Suddenly you find out that item is missing in your server. Well, I have the fix for you. It doesn't mean that your data in rdata.jf is outdated. It may be because it could be a Taiwan row or could be a J row item and so on. So they are exclusive items for these servers. And here our friend uh, LL Chris LL have uploaded um, all the items here from all these grfs before it used to be like inside each folder but now he have merged it together into one grf so you go ahead and download this and i have my one right here in the desktop so this is the this is the downloaded file so right let me return to this page you click on this merge grf you're gonna be redirected to a media fire website and you download this. So I have downloaded and I have extracted right here. So here contain basically all items, but a lot of these will be already in Crow and you don't want to actually have a second um, repeated item because it's at the end of the day your grf or your whole client will be slightly bigger and is unnecessary to have over uh like a repeated item in another grf correct all right so we are ready here and now with correcting coding so before we we will have to go to settings and make sure it's in the correct encoding but now it's already perfect for us to extract missing items so someone in my discord have sent me some missing items id and we are going to test this in game right now and find out whether this is actually missing or not now we are going to the game and log in into my server. So loading and now I log in here. Let's start with the very first item, see if it's missing on my site. Item and yes, it is missing. So what is missing is the BMP. So if we click, maybe we get an error and the error is actually missing sprites and everything else. Here we already have the name, but sometimes this name might be gibberish and you cannot actually read it, but you have the ID. So how to find out? Uh, and in system, item info, English, this one, open with notepad right here i can paste the id all right so i have found the exact same item and if i check it here this is the name of the item sometimes the item will be written in this way so you cannot actually extract from the grf properly so what i'm doing now is to um, copy this name and go to the grf let's close this window for now so we have got an error and our client is probably crashing and it's crashed okay now remember that item is crashing the game and i'm going to the grf folder and open this okay now with that name copied from item info i am pasting right here okay and you can see i have got everything that this item requires um the sprite 
so the sprites and the collection and right here so all i do is select all them holding shift i can select all four right click extract and i go to desktop and i will find my um grf folder and i'll extract inside this folder for now okay so as you can see he already created for me everything in the right directory which is a lot of um save a lot of time all right now i have this item that is working perfectly but let me once again uh, get another items to see if there is any gibberish name uh, on these items i am going back to my ragnarok folder right now okay and let's enter the game once again all right okay oh all right, I log in here and let's test with the other ID. Yeah, another unknown item. Okay. And this says unknown item, so we need to check rather. Let, let's do a test right here. If we find the entry for this item here, up and now we actually cannot find the entry for this item. So either we need to create an entry here, or we need to go back to Chris folder. And let's try Taiwan row uh, system item info this one um probably i need to download this let's open right here i'll open with sublime text so we don't mess up things and my sublime text is opening all right let's see we can find this item here. We also cannot find it here. All right, so you you can see that this is um, gibberish. So we might need to add it to the GRF and change the, the encoding, but no, this doesn't contain this does not contain what we are looking for. Let's give one more chance. Uh, so that was Taiwan row, right? Let's try on J row system item info. Let's download this again. Yeah, we, I also don't find the entry here, so you probably need to create one. Uh, so there is like, I'm not sure how to extract this item right here, but let's try the other ones. Um, add item. All right, this one is English name. this one let's test this if we find in our item info also does not find so maybe my item info is outdated let's try let's check the latest translation file from chris maybe there is this item so I'm not going to spend the time on this right now but let's also go to add item 
and check this one right here. Oh. Okay. So we have these items right here. Let's go ahead and search right here. The first one is this scarf. So I'll give you another example here. Just a second. So sometimes the item in your GRF will be with a weird name like this. And I am going ahead and search this weird name. And that did not show up. Let's try this. Mm, that did not show up as well. But if you go in, in um, what, what I want to mean is like these names can happen to, to be an uh, item. Um, and let me see the folder for the item. So data sprite this one right here so three fourth here so you can see a lot of items are in gibberish that's why you need to go into um, item info and make sure what name targets the sprite okay but in this case we are getting english names so i copy this and I search for the name. Okay. Once again. Oh. Yeah, this one. So this item is here. And I think this searching for this and say Japan. Right. Here we go. So I have found this right here. Sprite act everything we need. So I'm going to extract this and now we have uh, two fixed items. What I'm doing next is to create a custom GRF. So, so right here in GRF, I'm going to close this two for now and Create a brand new GRF file. New GRF. I'll open the data directory and then select these two folders and drag it right here. So now I have this item. So I'll save this as my custom GRF just for missing items. And this will be very nice for your server, very clean. You only use what actually needs. So let's call this um, my items. Okay, just give any name you want. I would suggest not too long name, but my items for now. And I will save it in this folder right here first. Okay, my items. And now we save it right here. Okay. Let's copy to our client folder. And in data.ini. Okay. I'll add one more um, uh, one more GRF. So this will be the number five. And then I'll call my items dot grf and i will rename this to six and this to seven okay hope you guys following along now when i open the game you will notice that that two items is actually there so the scarf and the dress and you can see I equip, there was not an error. 
and the scarf as well all right so as you can see now these two items is working successfully that's it for today for this video i hope you like this content and you can fix your grf you might also like if you're lazy to extract one by one you might just link the official grf so let's uh let me move this out here let's rename this to my items just just for example let's replace here and then let's open the server again so i need to close my regex c so i can move it in here now just before i go let's test once again okay and it's speed run now as you can see actually every single item reviewed it's a cost uh, so here you can see that there is the item and here as well but here is still unknown so you need to create an entry or find an entry for this item i could equip without an error but it's an unknown item so i'm not sure what that is however the gray boots and this is now working i hope you learned something from it and see you on the next video peace